Well, hello again, everyone, and thank you very, very much for joining me on our latest and greatest whiskey review. Let's jump right into it. Today, I'm going to do a little something different. Um, typically, I like to do at least a little bit of homework just to be kind of fair with the distillery. Um, today was a classic example of a, an impulse buy. Um, went to the store to grab a, a few things um, for the wife. Stumbled across, you know, a couple bottles because I always like to take a look and see what the, uh, the new stuff on the shelf is. And stumbled across something that apparently has been out for some time because I did quickly Google it while I was in the store. Uh, the name of the spirit we're re reviewing tonight is New Holland Artisan Spirits Beer Barrel Bourbon. And I am not a proponent of reading the back of bottles uh, because, you know what, they're just fancy little marketing pitches that uh, companies put together that oftentimes really try to glorify um, what is other, uh, you know, otherwise just a pretty, pretty normal mundane spirit. But since this is a bit unique, I mean, it, it got my attention enough for me to pick it up. Um, you know, dropped 33 bucks on it. I thought I'd share it with you. Anyways, these guys are a small distillery out of Holland, Michigan. And they actually do, and I'm usually not fans of people that like to have, you know, um, their hands in all sorts of pots. Um, but they do. They actually do a little bit of whiskey, um, rum, gin, vodka, and brandy. Um, but they've been around since 05, so I got to give them credit um, with this little distillery boom that's kind of taken place over the last, I don't know, five years. For a place to be around 10, they must be doing something right, so... Uh, I'm going to give it a shot, but here's the description. Many craft brewers will test that whiskey barrels make great beer, and our Draken Milk Stout, aged in bourbon barrels, is a delicious example. Beer barrel bourbon goes to show that the opposite is also true. Beer barrels make remarkable whiskey. Beer barrel bourbon is, fine, is first aged in new American oak barrels for seven years, several years, excuse me, before a three-month beery slumber, the beer barrel aging lends biscuity notes and a smooth malt character to the robust whiskey tones of toffee and caramel, or caramel, whichever you choose. So, kind of cool. Um, yeah, the uh, you know the the the, the bourbon-flavored beer has kind of uh, really started to to pop up a lot more recently. And they just kind of flipped the script. So I am interested to give this a shot. Um, not using a Glen Karen, I'm actually using a, a little mini uh, snifter glass, um, which I don't think we've actually talked about. This is actually a, um, um, a Kavasi. I can't think you can see that. The lighting's kind of bad. You can kind of make that out. It's a Kavasi. There you can see. Kavasi Cognac Snifter. But what these allow is um, they're really ideal for, for swirling and letting a spirit kind of uh, simmer and, and, and really open up. Whereas the Glen Karens are really designed to immediately be ready to, to, to go. These are more or less intended for, you know, airing, airing the spirit out. So with this being a, a unique bourbon, um, that should have some little bit of uh, interesting characteristics. I thought we'd try this class. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this. Beer Barrel Bourbon. I'm excited. I love trying new stuff with you guys, so you guys can kind of experience this with me. Um, I'd love to hear any feedback that you guys may have. Um, if, uh, you know, maybe if there's something that you maybe never thought of buying, and maybe I reviewed it and you loved it. And, uh, you know, give me a shout, you know, shoot me a message or vice versa. If there is something and you're like, hey, man, you know, you said this was good. I tried it. I think it was swill. Tell me that, too. I'd love to hear it because I think that's what's so fun about doing this um, is just the, uh, the difference of opinions or similarities. Let's jump right in here. Caps on good. Tight seals are always good. It is an artificial cork. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Ooh. 
That doesn't count. That's not my tasting. All right. Like I said, man, that is a really nice tight seal. That's good because this is not going to allow much oxygenation, which is going to allow that spirit to last a little bit longer. All right. As we always do. Man. Man. I didn't see it in the bottle because of kind of how the label goes all the way around there. But in a glass, and I know this is not going to really work. Actually, you can kind of pick that up a little bit. It's got a very kind of milky uh, look to it. And that makes it, I, I say milky. And uh, they did store this bourbon in uh, pre uh, barrels that previously stored this dragon milk uh, stout beer. So it makes a lot of sense. Huh. That was that was surprising. So yeah, I'm gonna open this up, let this breathe for a second. As we do that, I will give you a couple more teasers. Um, I've decided to, to hold off with rum, heavy rum rev reviews until probably mid-May. So, because I still have so many bourbons and so many scotches and so many whiskeys, Canadians, Irish, you know, Americans, you name it, I'm going to hold off. So, uh, rums will start maybe within the month. So, but if, like I said, if you love rums, come back. We'll be looking at lots of them. So, all right. I think that's good enough for this, uh, for this tasting. On the nose, what do we have here? Now, these aren't as ideal uh, as the Glen Cairns. They don't focus and funnel that aroma quite as well, but I think they do a pretty ample job of it. There is definitely a, a funneling uh, that does happen. So let's give this a smell. One of the things that jumped out uh, to me on the description of the flavor was they, they, they used the word biscuity. That's kind of cool. I, I mean, it makes sense in, in a barrel that previously stored a, a yeasty product like a beer, especially a stout, um, that that would be the case. And I do, I pick that up almost instantaneously. I pick up, you know what I smell? I smell um, like crescent rolls, baby grands or whatever they're called. Grands, you know, the things you pop open the sleeve and it, you put them on a tree. I, I get that. Um, absolutely. I also get, you know what I get, um, man, I'm trying to put a finger on it. I think it smells like Crown Royal XO. Yeah, very mellow, very subdued. Um, if this tastes like it smells, which... By the way, oftentimes there is zero correlation, but if it does, I'm very excited because on the nose, I find this absolutely marvelous. Very appealing for, for my palate. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into this. I can't wait any longer. Okay, in the mouth, it is much thinner than I anticipated. Uh, the viscosity is very light. It almost, you almost immediately are hit with, immediately are hit with um, kind of a newer rum. Or, yeah, no, not, not or. That, that's basically what I got immediately in the mouth. Um, light, uh, kind of crisp new rum flavor. Um, yeah, very, very thin. Surprised by the thin uh, nature of, the, of, this, of this drink. Uh, the finish is, is medium warm, I, sh I would say. The flavor is, um, yeah, it, it is. It's, it's malty. It's, it's malty, but it's also um, um, sweeter, more mild. Uh, the 95% of bourbons that you'll taste. 
Let me give that one last shot. But man, I tell you what, love the nose on it. I would say that my, my bar was set pretty high on the smell, but um, it's nice, it's nice. Let me give this one more shot. Yeah, um, it tastes good. It, and the reason I say it tastes good is I can, I have a hard time even identifying this as a bourbon. Um, it's so unlike a traditional bourbon. Um, it, it almost is like a, uh, yeah, it's almost like a, a very doughy rum with a dash of, um, you know, malt whiskey um, influence. So very, very unique. I have a hard time even grading this because of, you know, I, I don't really have anything to compare it to in terms of uh, a parallel or, a, or a, you know, something in that same vein. But I will do my best and give it a, a strong 7 out of 10. Yeah, uh, appealing.